I've had occasion to be close to the French in the past. Uh, you need to know that from that association, I got to know that the French had deliberately sponsored the sending of Francophones to southern Cameroon to change the situation. And they were surprised that the situation is not changing. And they wanted to know from me what the, the cause was. They, he said uh, also that uh, the, the Bamilikes were our brothers, the, the dwellers were our brothers. And why was there no change? So what I told them was that all of us have been brought up under different cultures. And we find it difficult to succumb to that culture that we are being subjected to. And that another thing they asked was, why is it that, like in Baminda, where they've pumped in so many people, sponsoring so many business, during elections, SDF would always have 90% and more. I told him that uh, even those people that they send, when they come, they don't see what they sent them to see. They see what is in place and they join us. So they vote with us. That's why we always have that. The, the elections are conducted by, the, by those officials, but the results show what they have been having. So this is the reason. We are changing those people instead of them changing us. He was shocked. Now, what you just explained, though, you, 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 you just explained a conspiracy, a conspiracy of social engineering going on in the Southern Cameroon. Yes. It has been going on for a long time. Professor Bernard Fondon, in the late 60s, pointed this out. He talked of Frenchification, and he abhorred it, and he was hated for it. So it has been going on since the early 60s, the late 60s, the Frenchification policy. You know, I read a story in, in, in the Herald where they wrote about in a Yaba hotel in Bermenda, 90% of the employees were francophones and they were paid higher than the 10% Southern Cameroons mm -hmm. who were there. Mm -hmm. Is that part of the... So this is not a, an isolated uh, situation, it's a, it's a government policy that this it because. has been the policy of Frenchification from the world go. That is why in government offices, right to the smallest uh, deal in the rural areas is Francophone. And the, in the offices, in the provincial offices, in the divisional offices, uh, officers of lands and surveys, agriculture and so on, they were pumping Francophones. The policy has been that for a long time. Incredible. Um, now, <clears throat> you also say that is going on in business and that they're sponsoring businesses. How, how is that done? And do you have examples of some of these businesses? Uh, they, they didn't tell me specific names, but they told me what they've been doing. Sponsoring means among the business people, they give you, uh, they give you a capital to do business there to overwhelm the local people. And that's what has been happening. Now, since we're on that topic, I also understand that this is not only done in terms of what is brought in, but also what is prevented from staying there. Because I understand that you get loans to take your business out of Bermuda to maybe Douala, and I'm thinking of one doctor who story is clear that he wanted to build a clinic. He's a son of the Southern Cameroons, wanted to build a clinic in Bermuda, but they will not give him a loan, but they will give him a loan to build in Douala. Mm -hmm. Are they, is, that, is, that, is that really...? I, I think it's part of the whole grand plan. It's part of it. I know many uh, Southern Cameroonians who have established uh, medical centers in the Republic of Cameroon, pharmacies and things of that nature. Uh, I think it's still part of the plan. You know, what you're talking about is defined under the UN law as genocide. Hmm. I don't know if you've ever thought about it that way. If you look uh, through the exhibits that 
we presented in Abuja and in Banjul, you will see that uh, we talk of marginalization also. And this marginalization has been, has included taxing people out of business so that they leave only the able ones to do. And these able ones are those that we believe are being sponsored by the French through their puppet regime. Now, are you aware of, of, of the, of the, of the broad definition of genocide by the UN and that includes cultural and, and these other aspects that you're saying are being targeted? When I say, I uh, talked about Frenchification, mm -hmm. it is part of that genocide. That is killing our own system totally. And like uh, the education system, which is persisting now, thanks to the resilience of the Southern Cameroon's parents and some students. All that was aimed at being wiped out. Uh, we've resisted successfully up to now, but with a lot of difficulty. Now that is genocide. The mass killings of Southern Cameroonians. Anybody who tries, who has a contrary opinion, is shut up in many ways. You either toe the line, or you are imprisoned, or you are eliminated.